Welcome back to the British Soap Awards 2012, an evening that contains more thrills, shocks and surprises than the Dingle family tree. <laughs> now, for one of our most prized awards of the evening, where we honour a much-loved personality for their towering contribution to a British soap. It's the Lifetime Achievement Award. Here to present it, we have two people well-known on the streets of Walford because uh, they've wreaked havoc there themselves, playing Janine and Ricky. Please welcome Charlie Brooks and Sid Owen. <laughs> Well, we are delighted to be here tonight to present this award to a friend and a colleague who we are so proud to have had the opportunity to work with. She first appeared in Albert Square in 1986, and over the last quarter of a century, her iconic character has entertained us with some of the biggest storylines and the biggest earrings. <laughs> she... <laughs> She's been married four times, widowed once, she's loved and she's lost, she's fought and she's frolicked, and has, in short, cemented her place as one of Soap's most cherished stars. We are, of course, talking about the wonderful, amazing, beautiful Pam St. Clement. So, let's have a look at just a few moments from her outstanding career on EastEnders. Pam created such an iconic figure within EastEnders. You know, they only come once in a lifetime, that sort of character. Oh, I haven't even started yet! Pam's feisty. Bit of a minx in her time. The old times, Denny. Now again. But she's been naughty. Looking for a bit of company, are you? You could put it like that. Do a bit of company myself. What? Charlie. Oh, just popped in like. I never forgave her for finding my Charlie in her room. You wicked woman, that's my husband. Was oh, that what he is? So glad you could make it. Being wooed by her is once in a lifetime experience. Oh, good. Because I couldn't find a thing to wear. And if the audience can see what I saw. <laughs> nah, you have him. My friendship with Patricia is either all wonderful and lovely and sweet and we love each other oh. or we're bashing two bells out of each other. You bitch! You cow! <laughs> it's always a man, isn't it? Typical Frank. <laughs> no, far more than me. That's my I was 17 when I joined the show and so obviously like Pat and Frank had been in my front room for as long as I could really remember and her attention to detail as an actress and as Pat Butcher was always astounding. She has, you know, worked on her character to, in every detail, you know, from the hairstyle to the dress. Born to be wild. To the earrings. The earrings are iconic. I don't like your earrings. I beg your pardon? But in order for those earrings to be so fabulous and everything else, you had to have the woman behind them. She knows exactly who I am. And she's about as Jewish as a bacon sandwich. Who's <laughs> the definitive matriarch? Your mum and a nan all rolled into one. If you're a matriarch, then you have storyline after storyline. I can hardly remember them all. I think the one that I loved is when we did the ice cream set, and it just worked. It worked so much. Ooh. Have you taken something, Mum? They brought out the young girl in each other. They made each other laugh and they had a lot of fun. Right, I'm taking you both home. They were like kids when they were together. Oh, Philip, are you going to ground us? She grew up time. She tried to change. She tried to be a different sort of woman than the woman that she arrived in the square with. And she will be sorely missed. If you create and play a character for 25 years, if the public still believe you after all that time, you ain't you ain't half done a good job. Congratulations, Pam. I'm very pleased for you, although I'm sad that you're not here anymore. Don't forget, put it where everybody can see it, like I do. <laughs> I truly love you with all my heart. Enjoy the night. Often I'm at a loss for words. 
<laughs> but I really am. I've, this has come as such a surprise. I have so much to owe to EastEnders for keeping me stimulated as an actor for 25 and a half years, for giving me a wonderful exit, and for all the marvellous, marvellous producers, directors, and I have to say, particularly, my lovely family, who really are like family. Thank you. Thank you.